Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing another what I eat in a day and showing you guys how I ate to lose 70 pounds. So basically I eat the same way I ate when I lost weight and that is a diet that is based off of low calorie density. So it is a whole foods plant-based starch centered diet and that is just the diet that I do best on. I do my best eating, you know, lots of low calorie density foods. So lots of fruits, vegetables, rice, potatoes, beans, whole starches, pasta even, and obviously like small amounts of more calorie dense foods. I don't cut anything other than animal products completely out of my diet, but I do kind of follow a rule where like I'll eat 90% low calorie density and then I'll eat like a tiny amount of flour sometimes or nut butter or things like that just to give myself more variety. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you guys some more delicious meals that you can eat eating this way. This is also how my meal plan membership is based off of. So all of the foods are low in calorie density. We strive for balance. We strive for, you know, eating in a way that you enjoy, that is sustainable, that you can do long term because that is the only key to weight loss and keeping it off. If you need any help on your weight loss journey, we just released the second week of my guided meal plan. So in my meal plan membership, when you sign up, it's $29.99. You get two 28 day meal plans right off the bat that have shopping lists and meal prep for every single week. There is a guided meal plan in there that has two full weeks now of me guiding you through every single day. So I do um, meal prep with you. I do every single day with you. We eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner together. I guide you through every single meal. It is like if I was in your kitchen holding your hand, uh, we're doing this together and that level of accountability and support. So if you feel like you need that, there's also a amazing supportive community that is private, that is extremely active. This month we're doing a steps challenge, which is almost over, but in June we're gonna be doing the 50-50 plate challenge. So if you want to join us then, we're gonna have a delicious meal plan for June. I'm really excited about it. So basically all of my like videos that you see on YouTube, if you enjoy those types of meals or think they look delicious, that's the kind of food that is in my meal plan. So I hope you guys join us. You can click the link down below and learn more if you want. You can cancel anytime. There is absolutely no commitment whatsoever but anyways without further ado let's just jump into what I ate today I already made breakfast this morning I just like woke up and was super hungry but I had a green smoothie this morning I'll show you some footage of it it's one of my favorite things ever to make it is in my meal plan but there's also like a reel on my Instagram how to make it so if you guys want to see more other like quick little videos of recipes I make too I have been posting them here on YouTube but I have a lot of them on my Instagram and Facebook page and also on TikTok I'm just high carb hand on all those platforms if you want to follow me on any of those as well but i'm gonna make some veggie korean pancakes uh my friend carrie told me about these and she gave me the recipe and i really want to try and make them and i have like all the veggies to make it so that's what we're gonna make now and then i'm gonna show you guys for dinner like one of my favorite new soups to make that is like full of pasta and it's so delicious so yeah, let's get cooking because I am hungry. So for these veggie Korean pancakes, I'm gonna thinly slice up this onion because I think onion is like basically one of the major ingredients in it. So we're just gonna thinly slice this and put it in a bowl. And I already have some here that I sliced, so I think this might be enough. And then I'm also going to thinly slice some zucchini, which I might cut this in half and do it. I think the key though is that you want to get everything as thin as you can. Alright, I also have some mushrooms that I'm going to thinly slice. These are pretty big, so I'll probably just do two of these. I'm not really sure how many pancakes this will make. I think it's just gonna make, I think it'll just make one, honestly, but we'll see. So just really, really thin slices because the carrot's gonna take the longest to cook. Right, so I have my bowl of veggies here and now we just need to make our batter and then our dipping sauce. All right, so first we're gonna make this dipping sauce and this is just like a small amount that you could use for a few pancakes. I'm gonna use a tablespoon of soy sauce first. And 
And then I'm also gonna add a tablespoon of maple syrup. I like to use a teaspoon of sesame oil in my Asian sauces because it just gives like such a depth of flavor, but this is totally optional. This is the only oil I ever use and I never use more than a teaspoon because it's just so flavorful and it just adds a lot to the dish, but you can totally leave it out. And then I'm also gonna add in some garlic powder, just like half a teaspoon and some red chili flakes. I'm also just gonna add in like a pinch of sesame seeds. All right, and then for this batter, we're just gonna use half a cup of flour, which you can use normal flour, which I'm just using white flour, or you can use chickpea flour, and I wouldn't really use any other kind. So we're gonna add this into a bowl, and then we're just gonna add in a tiny bit of turmeric just for some color, and then half a cup of water. Honestly, I should have used a bigger bowl, but we're just gonna whisk this. I'm gonna have to put this in a bigger bowl. <laughs> so we're just gonna whisk this together until we have like a pancake batter. But you basically want it to be like pancake batter. So I think this is pretty good consistency. And then I have this griddle heating up. Well, it's been heating up for quite a while, so it's actually on 450. And the way that I've seen people make these is they just add the veggies to the griddle like this and kind of spread them out. So we'll probably make a few of these. And then we're just gonna pour this pancake batter over top. I've never cooked this before, so I don't really know what I'm doing, but Okay. And then because this is so hot, I think we're gonna have to flip it like pretty quickly. So the sides of it are getting a bit cooked. I don't even know if I can flip this whole thing, like it's pretty big. I would suggest like making smaller ones. <laughs> I might have to like cut this in half, actually. I'm just gonna like cut it in half because I'm not gonna be able to flip this. Ooh. I also think you would wanna make like way more of the batter because that was the entire thing of batter. I think that this would be like a really good breakfast type recipe though. I know it's not, it's not really meant to be a breakfast type recipe, but I think it would be good for breakfast. I mean, it's kind of, it's essentially a veggie pancake. So I'm just gonna put this into a bowl. This is what it looks like. I mean, it doesn't look extremely great, but I think with the dipping sauce, it's gonna be really good. Yeah, I was totally right. With the dipping sauce, it is so good. See, this is like why you can't skip the sesame oil on this sauce because it just gives it so much flavor. This is like a 10 out of 10, it's so good. So I'm just having a snack right now. This is one of my favorite little snacks to eat. I have some blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, and I just slice that up in a bowl and then I drizzle this chocolate sauce on top. So I just make this out of two tablespoons of maple syrup, a tablespoon of soy milk, a tablespoon of cocoa powder, and then a dash of like vanilla and salt. And it makes this really good chocolate sauce. I just put that on there. And then I'll just add like a tiny bit of coconut flakes. This is like my go-to dessert, but I'm just having it as a snack. All right, so we're gonna make this pasta fagioli. I'm probably like butchering that, 
But I'm gonna chop up an onion and four cloves of garlic and put that into a pot with a little bit of water. And then the rest of the ingredients are two carrots, we've got some celery, I'm gonna use eight ounces of this penne. And then I have diced tomatoes. Usually I would use cannellini beans or like great northern beans, but I'm gonna use these butter beans today because I just wanna use them up. So I'm gonna put all this together and I'll kind of like walk you guys through it. It's really, really good. So I'm just gonna put some water in this pot and get it heated up. I'll just put it over like um, medium high heat. And then we're going to just finally like chop up these onions and four cloves of garlic. And just as you chop this up, you can add it into your pot. And it doesn't have to be like super fine or anything because we are actually gonna blend about half of this soup, which is what kind of gives it like a really creamy, delicious flavor. We can add our garlic in. And then I'm gonna let this saute for around five minutes. And while it's doing that, I'm gonna chop up these carrots and celery and rinse and drain my beans. All right, so we're just adding in four cups of water. I still have this on high heat. So we're gonna bring this up to a boil and add in our celery and carrots. Add in our diced tomatoes. I'm also going to add in a bouillon cube. This is just a chicken flavored vegan bouillon cube. It's the not chicken kind. I'm also gonna add in some Italian seasoning. So I do about a teaspoon and then a teaspoon of oregano. And then we're also gonna add in half of our rinsed and drained beans. And we're just gonna let this cook for about 10 minutes until the carrots and the celery are cooked. And then we're gonna blend half of this, add in our pasta, and that's it. All right, this has been cooking and everything's nice and soft. So I'm just gonna lightly blend some of this. You wanna blend about half the soup. And now we're just gonna add in the rest of our beans. And then we're gonna add in our pasta. So I just have eight ounces of pasta here. You could also add some vegan sausage into this, which is really good. Um, I usually cook it like this, and then for my husband, I'll add in some vegan sausage at the end. So a lot of people in my meal plan membership will make the meals as basically a base meal, so they'll eat those, but they will add you know, some vegan meat or sausage or something like that to the other half of it for their partner, so they'll either double the meals and then add that in, or they will just separate their meal and have the other half for their partner. And that works really good because these are really good meals that you can just add other things to instead of having to cook like totally different dinners for your entire family. So we're just gonna let this cook until the pasta is done. And then there's just a few finishing touches and that is it. All right, so the soup is done. All our pasta is cooked and it's just like so thick and delicious and creamy. This does kind of absorb most of the water and it won't become like a soup if it's cooled and then recooked. So you can add more water if you want it to be more soupy. But I like to add like a quarter cup of nutritional yeast into here. And then I also add in some red chili flakes just for spiciness. That's it, it's so delicious. I hope you guys try it. It's one of our favorite new soups. And I cooked it for Derek, he gave it a 10 out of 10. Which if you guys know Derek, that's it's pretty rare. Halfway through this cooking, I found a vegan sausage in the fridge, so I threw it in there, but usually I cook this without the sausage. That's it 
it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will put the recipes down below. Some of them I might put on my website. I need to start putting more recipes on my website for you guys. Um, but if you need any help on your weight loss journey, make sure to check out my monthly meal plan membership. Like I said, um, you guys can always join. You can join at any time. You don't have to join at the beginning of the month or anything. Um, and I also have a free weight loss cheat sheet on my website that I will link below. It's totally free. It's an over 70 page guide on everything you need to know to get started losing weight on a plant-based diet and understanding like calorie density balance all the principles that i have used to just create a life that i love you know and that i can be consistent with that is the biggest thing i'm telling you do things that you like to do eat things that you like to eat and you will go much much farther than trying to force yourself to do stuff that you hate and eat stuff that you find disgusting so we're all individual. I want you guys to just be patient with yourself. You will get there. I mean, I always tell people this in my membership, but if you knew how many times I screwed up and how many times I like was, you know, striving per for perfection and like couldn't eat that way and would end up binging or going off plan and then like starting over again or whatever. Like if you knew how many times I did that and that my weight loss journey was not like this linear, like perfect thing that happened and that it was hard one and i had to really learn balance and consistency and time and patience and self-love and all of these things and it was just like such a journey that i had to go on with myself and the biggest thing that i learned was that you have to enjoy that journey or else it's not gonna go anywhere you have to enjoy the ride and find a way that it is enjoyable for you because what is enjoyable for someone else to eat and what is enjoyable for someone else to do exercise wise is not going to be the same for you so that is like my biggest message with today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this one um, i will leave all the recipes and links and everything down below and i hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and i will see you very soon